Camera rolling? Camera rolling. Beautiful. Hello, this is Jerry Balassa, and I am so excited and thrilled. It's a tradition here at International Film Festival Manhattan to do a festival wrap-up. Louis, before reading any of that, how do you feel right now? Third year, a most successful year so far. What do you think, and how do you feel? I think so. Um, I, I love it. The, the formula this year is more collaboration with people, your, your loved ones, your family, and everyone in your community. And then we streamlined everything. We used to do 35 programs. This time, four days and just 12 programs. Oh, yes. yeah. 12 amazing programs. Yeah, we're very appreciative of you guys, the audience, and the filmmakers who came in. Beautiful. So we're going to go over one by one what went on to the 2013 International Film Festival Manhattan, Louis. We usually have a very, very big opening night. And this year, Sean Young, a Hollywood actress, came in with um, her director, Fred Carpenter. Mm -hmm. Phil packed the place. It was exciting. Thank you very much. It was a mafia movie for this year. Uh -huh. And he had um, program two. Let's go to program two, which is another same night. Exactly. Also an opening night um, um, event is um, we, um, short films. They got the subway moments of uh, short films of um, A Day in the Life of uh, Gerontological Nurse, of Mirna Santos, Ben Baran, and of course, Cancer Warriors. Uh -huh. We always want to talk about something with advocacy and something that talks about deep things. And you know, I'm also a cancer survivor, but not me myself, but I survived a sister that died. So it's very close to my heart. So we put that at Steven De Castro's um, opening night film. Very good. And then uh, what happened after that, Louis? Tell us more. Wrap it up. Actually, yeah, we'll go to program three um, the next day. Oh, the exciting, the effective. Everybody got so excited about on screen. Um, and then standoff, of course, Chris Notarelli and Ralph Henriquez. They're both award winners. And uh, one won the ensemble, best ensemble acting for short. It's defective, and the best feature film this year is Stand Off. Absolutely, very good job. Very it's good Friday. Job. And then that brings us to day three of the film festival. Okay, who's, who's gonna miss, um, who's gonna miss, yeah, well, oops, we forgot. Program four of the same night on Friday. Co-programming with Francis Asada, don't forget that, it was packed, and then there were lots and lots of people within the posse of uh, Francis Asada. It's called Best of Cinema Nights. Thank you very much for participating, you guys, and we love you all. We, let's go to Sunday, Saturday. Saturday, it's October 19. Um, so exciting to put music videos. I always like to put music, and because um, in the future, I'm maybe we can do a music festival too, here and there, within our great. festival. I talk so. Talk about the winning. So, um, yeah. Oh, the winning music video is 2020 Pupil, which stars the superstar um, Eli Buendia and produced by Diane Ventura. Festival favorite. Yeah, festival favorite for this year. So we got those from different countries. We had music videos from Israel, from Korea, um, from the U.S., from the Philippines, and elsewhere. And then let's go to um, program six, Life's Learning Curve, some controversial films about learning about life, you know. There's Learning Curve, Word Trader, the one, the best actor, Forte, Murky, Hit Town, Conversation with Cheating, with uh, Time Traveling, Future Self. I always say Porn Sack, um, Pink Chitzo, actually worked for DC Comics, so I always tell everyone That's about great. that. That's great. And then uh, should we go to our... Uh, Program seven. program 7. Oh, Program 7 on Saturday, October 19th still. Asian Sun Film. Everybody said beauty, be beautiful programming from Asian filmmakers and Asian themed uh, films. And I co co programmed that with Scott Erickson from Asian Sun Film from North Hollywood, California. Mm -hmm. Great. And then uh, should we go to our Saturday uh, documentary film, which won a few awards? Yes. Um, program 8. 8 for Asian, you know, lucky number. Uh, Lost Years documentary slash awards night of that uh, night. As well, Lost Years is Ken Deji. His advocacy for, you know, people, um, immigrants. Chinese immigrants actually built America and Canada in a lot of Chinatowns from around the world. And, and um, um, they just want to be properly thanked. So it's an advocacy for that for Chinese immigration. Very good. Oh, awards night, of course. Yes, uh, the award winning. Yeah, what, what are the awards? Sweet awards night. Um, of course, you can check IFFM New York for the list of awards because there's, there's many to talk about. Very good. IFFM New York, they're listed there, the awards, awardees. So let's go to Sunday. Oh, that's tonight. Mm -hmm. Really? Yeah, I'm, I'm confused yeah. now. Oh, nine, nine. Sunday this morning, documentary shorts. Mr. 
Real to Mr. Real to Real. What an amazing audience response for, with Mr. Mr. Real to Real. Everyone was moved. He was here, and we were all doing the Mr. Real yeah. to Real. Okay, new indies, new um, influences. Julie Defet, Save the Putnam Nature Trail. They won um, the indie producer, and of course, um, we have Model Citizen and Mr. Real to Real. Let's go to ten um, Filipino filmmakers. That was also pretty exciting because I'm Filipino. I always like to showcase Filipinos, and they ask me why do I showcase Filipinos, and I say. Why not? There you go. And who won uh, the best short film? Best short yeah, Filipino film. part of that program, correct, yeah. yes. Not Fade Away, directed by Filipino filmmaker Rodney Reyes in the house, which is part, actually was created because of a film contest called Ultimate uh, Filmmaker, right? And then, of course, we shall go to... Lilette. Closing night film, yes. Yeah, Lilette. Award-winning film, Mount Hope Project Award, recipient yeah. for this year, it's in with last years, right? Yes, program 11, um, second to the last. Closing night film is Lilette, never happened. From Netherlands, from Holland, from Jaco Groen. And of course, don't forget that they won the best director for Jaco Groen. And they also won the best ensemble for feature, Let never happen from Holland and Philippines. And then lastly, our closing night shorts. Closing night shorts, oh no, Sean Lynch in the house, don't forget, he the place game night and of course we had loaded by Andrea Williams since by Ev Wolf and produced by um, Diane Stevens and overture by Perry Escania and after that is after party very good there you go that's the festival wrap-up Lewis with an amazing year you carried uh, the festival again and uh, what should we expect next year oh next year it'll be um, trimmer shorter uh, but more you know short more eventful size. more eventful more meaningful don't forget our advocacies mm -hmm. and um, and I heard Rumor says that Game Apparel New York will still be helping us out with everything from t-shirt design and design and setup and everything. Thank you, Game Apparel New York. Game Apparel New York, I really believe in, in the company, what they stand for, their advocacy, the way they do their work, all their all their employers, their their volunteers were just amazing. It really went our it really made our festival very youthful and very meaningful, don't you think? Yes, very meaningful because behind the work is God and me. Uh, me is guided by God, God and me. Thank you very much, Game Apparel New York. And then on top of that, on top of all this programming, we were able to raise a lot of money tonight to the Happiness Photo Project, which is our mm -hmm. closing night night event. We sold a lot of pictures. Um, we had a lot of people attend, and that means uh, the money for the scholarship fund for sending uh, kids to school from the dump site. We'll, we'll have more. We'll probably have like close to 15 or 16 next year. Oh, and yeah. wow, we started yeah. from one to six to to eight. It will be amazing. We'll do 15 next year. So shall I uh, just do my little thank yous? Yes. Yes, of uh, course. Yeah. Uh, let's do your thank yous on the second segment. Oh yeah. And then a, uh, the separate clip with that. And uh, thank you very again, much. this is Luis and Jerry, now here from Festival Manhattan. That was a 2013 wrap up. We love films and we love New York. Okay.